Good morning. It's now time for the news. My name is Pakwesi Shandov. To the very first story, the Krobia Ashanti Technical and Vocational School at Asokore in the Ashanti region has been closed down. This follows the directive of the Ghana Tibet Service after some students went on rampage on Sunday morning protesting the poor results of their predecessors in their final examination. About 40 of them have subsequently been arrested for causing damage to school property. Now, in a statement signed by the Ghana TVET Service Director General Mausi Nudeko Awiti, the closure was upon the advice of the Setra East District Security Council and the Ashanti Regional Security Council. Students have been directed to vacate the school premises with immediate effect. Now, the security services will be on hand to evacuate all students to protect lives and properties. Parents are advised to take steps to pick up their wards from the schools. Portions of the January 22 statement read. When you heard that I have been given an appointment, you were all happy. How can I go up without fighting the demons? Now, that's the question posed by the founder of the Pa Chapel International, Reverend Victor Kusibwatin, when he preached to his congregation on Sunday morning. The secretary of the Board of Trustees of the National Cathedral has come under allegations of conflict of interest and double identity leveled against him by a member of parliament for not on Sambo. Okudito Ablakwa, Lava Firms, Nanabwachi, Yadom, has more. A lot of you were excited when you see your father up there, always happy. Papa is up there, Papa is up there. But when you are up there and you are fighting up there, then some of you are crying. How can I go up without fighting the demons in the air? And so stop all these fights and all these arguments. The question is that, is your father okay? I am 100% okay. The question is that, is your father happy? I am super happy. The question is that, is your father going to go through this? I promise you, I'll go through it honorably. So every one of you should relax, be happy. Now residents of Oforukrum in the Ashanti region are worried about the poor nature of roads in the area. They are also upset that the collapsed bridges in the area are yet to be fixed. They subsequently took to the streets and marched along the Anloga Susansu Susan Road, assisted by the police, making brief stop at some portions to highlight problems within the constituency. And I have and I Yadom, I beg your pardon again. <laughs> So these are concerned youth of the Oforikrom constituency. They are worried about the abstract state of their bridge, which no longer ago took away the a pregnant woman and her little baby. Bridges constructed over huge drains within the municipality have been deteriorated by flood water, which have claimed several lives. The concerned youth of Oforikrom constituency are worried about the risk associated with using the bridges. For about some years now, this drain has been eroding, has been expanding, and evicting our mothers who sell and make a livelihood out of this place. We want a long lifespan or a permanent solution to this flooding issue in Anwaga community or Asisechi community. Hence, we are calling for a proper drainage system to be constructed along the Susu and Susu to the Hensai stretch. When it starts raining right now, the erosion is going to erode the seats where the, the bridge is going to sit on, and it is going to cause that to, 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 to destroy the bridge again. Addressing the press, leader of the group Jerry James Suka said the community is lagging behind in terms of development. The youth group described as unsatisfactory the performances of their member of parliament and municipal chief executive officer. The concerned youth of Orukrom protested against the municipal authorities over the broken pedestrian bridge linking Aranga to Sisechi. The poor nature of the temporary bridge, 
constructed by residents of the two communities poses danger to the lives of pedestrians, especially school children. The most notable one is the recent one which occurred, I think, two years ago. All what we could see was the hands of, in fact, an old woman screaming, Munyimio, Munyimio, and there was no one, absolutely no one to rescue this woman. Ladies and gentlemen, after a series of social media protests, we woke up to see concrete pillars erected for the construction of the bridge. This has come as a relief to the people. However, we expected the contractor to excavate the ground before erecting the pillars, but this was not done. We are afraid. We are extremely frightened. When the bridge is contracted, it will be a death trap and it will continue to pose danger to our lives. Mr. Suka also shared the frustration of the youth group on the government's controversial debt exchange program. The program is a broad day light TV and cruel to the innocent Ghanaian whose lifetime savings and investment have been affected by the so-called debt exchange program. We call on all discerning Ghanaians to reject the so-called debt exchange program. They are also concerned about the abstract state of their roads here at the Ophori Chrome constituency. Today they are calling for the resignation of their municipal chief executive officer and they are also calling on their member of parliament to see to it that their roads and their bridge is being fixed within the shortest possible time. From Ophori Chrome, Nana Bwache Yadom reporting. Pension Bondholders Forum, Individual Bondholders Forum and the Minority in Parliament are pushing for governments to abandon plans to include their investments in the debt restructuring program. Now, features editor Giorgio Kobna catalogs the harsh realities the program presents to individuals and their families in this feature dubbed Bonds of Sorrow. No matter how much money you make, financial advisors will urge you to put your money away for a rainy day. They also advise investing your funds rather than simply keeping them idle in a bank account. To become financially free, they preach that invest in treasury bills, bonds and properties. That is exactly what Roberta did. After saving and opting for voluntary retirement from her company after working 18 years, she put her savings and benefits into government sovereign bonds. Uh, I could have put it in savings, but the savings within our the interest rate is nothing to write home about. I knew that it was a government product. I'm not the only one affected. It will surprise you the number of calls I receive in a day. Okay, I have a colleague who has stroke. He is down with stroke. He also took the package because at a point when you 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 are ill. The organization can't take care of you till, I mean, you, you, um, you are well. At a point, they you will have to go home. You will be on half salary, and then eventually you, you will go home with nothing. So he had to also opt in for the voluntary exit. As I talk to you now, he can't speak. He can't talk. So it is the wife who, and then another colleague who is managing so that when he gets the coupon, they take it buy the drugs and other stuff, and then for their upkeep. So imagine such a person, they don't even know how to relay the information to him. Because you see, it's, it is worrying. And you can't just understand. You can't, how, I don't know the <laughs> adjective to use. You can't just believe that something like that will happen. So we are still in, what, what English word do are we still dreaming or we, we are still hoping that, I mean, we wouldn't be roped in, you see, because it can be true. We are still in that land that it can't be true, it cannot be true. Then how do we survive? The investment was supposed to put a smile on her face, but it has rather become a source of anxiety in giving her sleepless nights. Finance Minister, there was a communique that uh, um, was explicit that individual bondholders are exempted from the debt exchange. I mean, so at least we knew that we were okay. 
only for the first the holidays for us to see on social media that individual uh, bondholders have been roped in i was just i when i saw it i wasn't crying but tears were i mean all over my my face uh -huh. it started when president akufado addressed the nation assuring investors that there will be no haircut on investments there will be no haircuts mr larry jage a retiree and also a bondholder said he felt reassured when the president spoke. Subsequently, Finance Minister Kenneth Uriata said individual bondholders will not be part of the debt exchange program, and that set his heart at ease. In fact, I was impressed. And then, subsequently, I am disappointed, especially in the leadership of this country. These are people who assured us that there will be no haircuts, number one. They assured us that uh, individual bondholders will not be involved. If you just oppose this in the general political representation of the past, that they will never go to the International Monetary Fund or the World Bank and the other institutions. You don't know who to believe again. But on the eve of Christmas, the government made a U-turn. The government modified its 137.3 billion CDs domestic bond exchange program to include individual bondholders. Now, cocoa farmers at Ohiam Penika near Samreboy in the Wasa Amefi district of the Western Region have denied a report by Al Jazeera News Network that cocoa farmers in the area use children as laborers on their farms. The farmers contend that journalists from the network rather persuaded them to bring their children to the farms as they wanted to do a holistic story on their challenges. Correspondent in Athalia Kwanza has been speaking to the concerned farmers. Ohian Penika, a farming community with close to 2,000 people under the Asenkrigua Cocoa District, produces 4,000 tons of cocoa annually. Like most cocoa-growing rural communities, they are grappling with the challenges of poor roads, education, and health infrastructure, among others. The community was virtually unknown to the outside world until they were featured on Al Jazeera News for allegedly engaging children as laborers on their cocoa farms. This has since gone viral and dented the image of Ghana in the eyes of the international community, with the potential of the country being sanctioned. However, speaking to the media, they claim to have been deceived as what was captured was not a true representation of how they operate. According to them, one Emmanuel Labi, who was later described as a human rights activist by Al Jazeera, led a news crew to Ohiam Penika on Sunday, November 13th, 2022, allegedly to listen to their concerns and bring to the attention of the bearers. A former assembly member of Ohiam Penika, Samuel Ofusu Asari, was featured in the news item, gives an insight into what transpired. On that Sunday, we met them here. So after the meeting, there was a members of the farmers who were sent to some of the farmers, uh, the various farms, to check how they are feed from cocoa business. So they went with one Mr. Danlo Pole with the family, including the children. So we went to the farm. They asked us to act for them to see how the cocoa is being processed or bring from the farm to the various homes. So they asked the children to pick some of the cocoa pots. And then they asked, they asked the mother to also act as if we are all doing farm business. So we do as they say, because do before you complain. We don't know where they are taking um, what they want from. So we act as the instructed acts. After that, they asked so many questions and then they answered them. We didn't know that those questions that they asked or what they asked us to ask 
was a negative impact. Two farmers, Ibrahim Asana and Owusu Jan, added that the people claimed to be officials of Cocoa Board and therefore wanted to see the process of harvesting the port to drying. They also sweet talked them to bring their children along and how to go and call them from church and made them to change into casual clothes for the filming of the demonstration in a nearby farm. America Kenyans had a near Kosia that did their main kai. And I'm paying for Biba, Yansu Yakuafo, on by an onsi cocoa board for us, Mamma, until a crofonso de cocoa board pa near near Japa, and Tiampa, you dimica by a bayon a war war too. Near the canoe beside me, hearing. Men are midi kind, every sound said near here, and pa and says, Say, near me, 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 Mudi ba mai di da dey e mai mo twa ma mawu an san na chiri mo di amanya na na mo nyina sere ana obi nso de to se 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 no ye nsuo ne se ye park ni se asai ye hia nsuo nte se koko board ma ba de amomo aye because koko e free akono e do so afi en homa ye mo ho high electricity e san akwa koko ni mka kra bia en koba bia biu ye ye ne wo mo nko afu mo nko ye gima sada ne ye kwasi ara Ha, one one a day with Fred and Golan say, Mufa and Golanambra. Now, yes, say, Yen, a tin of Posse and Golano, a do Mukwa Gima. You see, I was sort of Fred Colas, you see, as you uncovered from Crabajana. When Yanumpo, oh, it's Yen to me and to me for Colan Quafu. Aha, Jan Yano correct. The head teacher of William Penica MA Primary School. Ms. Gray Sam Teria provided evidence from the schools registered that the children featured in the Al Jazeera news are indeed pupils of the school with clean attendance records. From my now I'm class one, class one into a hard no schools no or a joint class. Every teacher offer two class. Inti now I'm class one and two far. Inti so I call her no matter how they pay, but she say I'm only here for my money. Inti I call her no. And now I go to office and I cry. Oh ma, me now be friend. I can say, me so me now be friend. I can say, but register so I had it. I approve it there. I be friend no bad school. Inti to me no. The register tells it all. The register will identify if the child does not come to school, the child is not admitted in the school. The register is here. I have a friend of our school. Ah, we have class. Ah, our class one. Okay. It's our new academic year. It's our class two. In an interview, the director of special service Coco Board, Charles Ameyaglo, said, "What happens borders on criminalities and has been reported to the police." while it pursues other options as well. What happened, uh, what transpired here is criminal. It's criminal using children as uh, young as four years. It's criminal. It's against the Children Act. And so the first reaction of this is to lodge a complaint at the police station. For people who have had several roles or have played several roles in it to be questioned, uh, we have come here today. Everybody has listened to what has happened. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't end what report we have given to the police. Uh, if anybody who has played a role has been invited to come and just explain his side, just as we have heard. The person should cooperate. This matter will not uh, go that far because we have come to understand the circumstances of it. That's all for the news this morning. For more, log on to www.myjoyonline.com. My name is Bakwisi Shandoff. Do have a pleasant day. The show continues to stay.